Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another puzzle video and it's gonna be another puzzle from InGood. Uh, shout out and thank you to InGood for sending me uh, some more puzzles. So originally they sent me two about a year or so ago and then um, a couple weeks ago they sent me four, four more I think it was and then now they've just sent me two more. So looks like I'm gonna be doing quite a few InGood puzzles here for a while. Um, they're great puzzles, great quality. Uh, the pieces are wooden. Um, the print quality is super nice. So, you know, I've already reviewed two of these so far. You can check those out um, after you watch this video, of course. Go check those out. Um, where I go a little bit more in detail, but uh, I'm going to jump straight into this one pretty much. And of the two they sent me, I, I chose this one um, for a couple of reasons. One, it just looked fun with all the candy wrappers and stuff. And I think because of it, uh, being just a bunch of packages it should be a pretty easy puzzle to complete um but also because some of the other ones they sent me were vertical and it's much easier for me when i'm filming these videos to do horizontal puzzles so uh, i chose to do this one ahead of some of the others but let's go ahead and get the box cut open and check out the puzzle As expected with a wooden puzzle, there is going to be a little bit more puzzle dust than usual, but no big deal. Um, they include a postcard in here so that you can uh, send some people a postcard, uh, as well as some images of some of their other puzzles that they have available. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. When I did the last one, they send like a full size poster. Um, whew, I might have a lot to clean up. Uh, they send a full size poster of the puzzle. And what I did last time is I actually used the tripod that I used for one of my cameras and I hung it out of view. Um, but yeah, this is going to be super duper handy uh, for completing this puzzle um, as a reference. So I'm going to close this up for now and set it off to the side. And I'm actually I'm gonna run back there real quick and grab a trash can because there's already a lot of dust here. Oh, and one of my new shirts too. I just uh, made this one recently. You can go check that out in my merch shop. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this off right away rather than uh, making a bigger mess with it. All right, sorry about that. So just like the last one, it's in a nice little mesh bag here. Get these pieces dumped. I'm trying to keep them from falling off the table here. It is a 1000 piece puzzle. So far, all the in good puzzles I've done are 1,000 pieces, and I believe all the puzzles they've sent me so far are 1,000 pieces. All right. Another thing that's pretty standard with in good is that they put these uh, letters here on the back of the uh, puzzle pieces. Um, you know, that's just as an extra added thing that you can do to uh, kind of help figure out if you're putting puzzle pieces in the right places. They do grids of the alphabet on the back side. So you'll see like, for instance, this one is stamped over and over, you know, with C's. So there'll be a whole section of the puzzle that's all the letter C and uh, there's a couple pieces that are stuck together. So you can kind of see 
Those are all G's. These are all B's. Let me break all those apart. And I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different with this puzzle. Um, and I'm not gonna separate anything. I'm just literally gonna take all these pieces, put them onto my trays. Um, I might face them upward so they're easier to view. Um, there's a handful of the pieces that are together, so I'm just breaking those up real quick. But yeah, I just, I'm just i trying to challenge myself a little bit in these puzzles because uh, I feel like the more of these puzzles I complete, the, the easier and easier it becomes for me. Um, and so I always like to kind of give myself a little extra challenge. Um, and this time that challenge is gonna be that uh, I'm not going to uh, start with the edge. I'm not going to separate it by colors. Um, just gonna get my trays out and start tossing pieces on there and flatten them out. So that's, that's, that's gonna be my uh, method here. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into um, placing all these pieces on trays. So at least a little bit easier to view. If you guys like this puzzle or any of the in good puzzles, uh, there will be a link in the description that you can go pick up puzzles from them. Um, and I always say it at the end of the video, but I'm gonna say it at the beginning this time. Leave me some comments on my videos. If you guys like my videos, if you appreciate my videos, um, leaving me a comment helps me out. It uh, helps me to show up more in the algorithms for YouTube um, and helps more people to see my videos. And if you want to take it a step further, go share it on Facebook or somewhere that you, you participate on social media, wherever you uh, spend your time, Twitter, Facebook, um, wherever, go share it. All right, time for the time lapse. down to the last couple of pieces and I'm already realizing that it looks like maybe one piece is missing. I've tried to look all over the place for it um, to see if maybe it was still in the box or somewhere right around here, but uh, 
you know, I keep my puzzle area pretty tidy and I can't seem to find it anywhere. So unfortunately it looks like it's probably just uh, didn't come in the box, which for the number of puzzles that I have completed over the years, um, to finally get one that has a piece missing, uh, not too big of a deal. I mean, it sucks not to have it, but I'm surprised that hasn't happened sooner is basically what I'm getting at. So let me get this top down shot and I forgot to uh, flip my screen there. All right, and one thing that I like about these in good puzzles is they're wooden and when they're wooden you can pretty much pick this thing up doesn't even require any uh glue or anything so it's pretty cool um this is the third puzzle i've done from in good so in good thank you again for sending this one out along with the others that i'm going to get completed i think i still have funny enough they're sitting right next to that camera i think i still got about four or five more from in good that i'm going to continue uh, doing. If you guys like this puzzle or you want to check out some of the other in good puzzles that are available, um, there is going to be a link in the description below. So go check it out. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all the support on my channel. If you are new to my channel, um, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell, which will allow you to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.